welcome to the show. We are so glad you're here so I can announce that in fact, disco is not dead. At least not for the band ABBA, who is about to release their first album in 40 years. Now, the Swedish supergroup has somehow survived in pulp culture, despite being absent from the music scene for, what, decades? Their songs um, were the basis of a major musical titled after one of their hits, remember, Mamma Mia? The Broadway show so popular, it was turned into a movie starring the grand dame herself, Meryl Streep. So how did all of this come about? Well, according to the band, it started with just two songs, and now it's a full album with performances. Yes, ABBA is going back on tour, but not in the way you think. Check this out. The concerts will feature the band as holograms. See, they strapped on all this motion sensor equipment, and it captured their movements to create avatars, or avatars. <laughs> <laughs> the digital images will show the band as they looked in 1979. The concerts, look at that. It's cool, creepy, I don't know, we'll talk about it in a second, but there will be 22 different songs from their greatest hits to their latest album drop, which I have to say, it's pretty good in a purely ABBA way. But the question is, would you pay money to go see holograms? And that's the first question in our Hot Topics segment. And here is our panel. Joining us all the way from the newsroom is Steve Solis and Natalie Swaby. Thank you, King Five, for letting us steal you. And of course, our favorite, Susie Wiley, producer extraordinaire. For today. For, for right Same now, at this moment. Because she laughed at my muscle joke. All right, so why? what do you think about this? What Would, would you go? I mean, it's revolutionary, and they're going to make a lot of money. And they yeah. don't have to be there, right? Right. Yeah. And they get to look like they did back in 1979. So I'm I there see for that. a lot of wins on their side. Would I pay for a ticket maybe for the first show just to see what it was like? Okay. I, yeah. I okay. see that. I see that. I mean, look at them. It looks like something out of Tron. I, Remember that movie? Yeah. I, I don't know. I might pay just for, like you said, the experience and maybe the dance part of it and to have a good time. But... It also disturbs me that we're also, I'm paying money for the band, but I'm never really going to see the band. Yeah. Yeah. Is there an ageism issue here, too? Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of feeling a little bad. Like, shouldn't we be embracing who we are and not trying to look like 19? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. My thought is, one, no, I would never pay that to see it. No. <laughs> no. Because they're still alive. Yeah. And, you know, we've done this with, like, Tupac and other people who are not with us That's anymore. True. So true. It feels I, creepy. I also feel like I'm being cheated out of seeing someone who I could see in real life. I, that's a really good point, because okay. MJ, Michael Jackson, they did it for Michael Jackson, yeah. so that's a really good point. Okay. Right. Are right. they saying, though, that we wouldn't want to see them as they really are? I, th I, to that's your point about ages, maybe that's true, and, and it is creepy, but I might go once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, second topic. There's a new math app. It's called, mm -hmm. it's called Homework. And it's basically an app that's ready to help all of us parents teach math, mm -hmm. okay? We were gonna try to test ourselves on this, but we thought we wouldn't be mean. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm here for it. I, I yeah. struggle with my daughter's oh. eighth grade math in a way that's actually embarrassing. I struggle probably with third grade math, but I was educated in Southern California schools. So. I'm with you, <laughs> yeah, me too, yeah. LAUSD, yeah. So thanks a lot. It. I am absolutely here for it because, as a lot of parents know, they teach math differently and the instructions alone, it's confusing. Yeah. Absolutely. I yeah. will take all the help that I can get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. really the option is this app or me, and you're better off with the app. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like that. <laughs> so true, and I feel like every day it's a yeah. different method. Yeah. They're like, oh, today it's counting up. Today yeah. we're taking the light. Right. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'll I tell like you it. what. I'm here for it. I think it's genius. Yeah. I'll, I'd actually pay for that. I would yeah. pay for that. Yeah. I would pay for that. that, you know? And maybe if I hadn't spent so much time playing video games in high school, mm -hmm. I was yeah. really good on the really Nintendo. <laughs> um, I would have been better at math. But speaking of video games, did you know that China has now banned kids from playing online during the week? Only weekend play. What wow. do you think of this? Better parent I, than I am, by the way. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that the government is telling a parent what to do, and I mm -hmm. don't have yeah. I have a problem with that, that they're right. saying every kid has to follow these rules. I think it's smart to have rules, but I'm, I'm not pro-government <laughs> telling mm -hmm. a parent that they have to follow a rigid guideline. It, it's interesting, though, that they're saying nothing, I think, during the week, and then... Three, three hours. hours yeah. Three hours, three on, hours on the on weekend. weekend. Yes. Yeah. Split that up between us. No, I'm with you. I mean, the government shouldn't be telling you. I think at home, I'm trying to set some boundaries. <laughs> That's especially hard. Especially as screen time has skyrocketed during uh, this whole last couple of years. But um, 
uh, yeah, I don't think it's realistic or right to do that. No, I've got a 14 year old. He was, I know for a fact, he was up till two last night playing whatever game I couldn't even play. It's okay. a computer game. And were you wishing oh. for that rule? <laughs> well, the part of me was, but then the yeah. other part of me thought, you know, now esports is such a big deal. Mm -hmm. Like how China is essentially taking themselves out of that game. So I don't know. It's a weird thing to tell someone, have your kids do this or not do that. I, yeah. I'm not on board with that. I agree. I agree. Stay out of my parenting, especially because sometimes screen time is my parenting. Unless it's through <laughs> math and it's teaching math. Right. No, I it's teaching math. <laughs> All right. So. Do you guys hear about these parents in Arkansas? They sent their daughter to college, fixed up her dorm room, and they had these giant blankets of themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Um, I, uh, I mean, <laughs> you're going to think twice before bringing a boy back home. That's all I have to say about that. I love this. I think that you can freely embarrass children. You I, do. Have I, you, what's the worst way you've ever embarrassed your child? Well, um, I don't know if I remember my father embarrassing me. I remember I, or my ex, sorry, it was my mother. I met. Robert Redford when I was 16, and oh I God. thought I was going to marry him. I mean, I was just so overwhelmed. And my mother came up and started screaming and yelling and <sighs> saying, you're Robert Redford. Have you met my daughter? Oh my I, I just, and I, oh, you know, I but wanna... now I turn back and I think these are some of the precious moments of my life. So I'm, I know, I'm making me sweat now. though. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it was embarrassing, but how about you guys? Have you ever embarrassed your kids or been embarrassed? Oh, I mean, my dad, when high school, before I had my driver's license and he would come to pick me up, he would not just wait in the car, just like, wait, I will come to the car. He would get up, he's six foot five, he'd get out of the car and he'd put a foot on the bumper and he would just like look at the crowd, take it oh, on and wait for me to walk that. out. And I would just be like, why can't you wait? But he's like the, the nicest man. <laughs> I love that. He was the nicest man and it was actually incredibly sweet, but that is uh, just the way dad picked. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. About 20 seconds left. What about you, Steve? I don't even know if we mean to embarrass our kids. I don't I don't mean to. I love my son to death, yeah. and I don't mean to embarrass him, but I'm pretty sure I do. I'm actually That's looking okay. forward to it. Yeah? Yeah, I am. My mom embarrassed me a few times. They're just not appropriate for TV conversation, but, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to passing on the tradition. So, hey, we barely scratched the surface here, so my, these friends of mine here are going to be back as we delve into the latest conspiracy theories. Are you ready for this? The truth is out there. Why are so many McDonald's McFlurry machines broken? That is right. The FTC is looking into it. We're going to talk about that as well as the use of proper condiments when we come back. From Welcome back to the show. So, hey, there's a bit of a condiment controversy brewing in the New Day offices right now. Um, it's true. Opinions on when to use ketchup could tear our team apart. Also, how to spell ketchup could also tear our team apart. <laughs> so to get some perspective, our Hot Topics panel, Natalie, Sweeve, and Susie. Sweeve. And by Sweeve, I mean Steve. And Susie have returned. All right, condiments. We brought this up at a New Day meeting, and, and a brawl didn't break out, but I was Me shocked too. about how many serious feelings people have about things like ketchup. <laughs> also, it's by the way, also spelled with a C, but... Is it C-A-T-S-U-P, or is it spelled with a K? I think it, it's both a K. are acceptable. But I was saying that I think ketchup only belongs on, for french fries or hash browns, a fried potato product. Okay. Wow. And that's it. That's wow. a statement. Yeah, and I'm going to die on that hill. <laughs> what say y'all about that? I mean, I, I hadn't really thought about it too much, but I definitely think it's mixed together on a burger with some mustard oh. and then like, you know, that's how In-N-Out makes their special sauce, right? And my kids put in mac and cheese. Oh, wow. what? I didn't start that, but that's what's happening. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Didn't Richard but, Nixon put it in um, cottage cheese? Was that Nixon? One of the presidents oh, did. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, well, I'll tell you this. It does not belong on a hot dog. It does right. not. Really? Yeah. Yes. What are yeah. You Mustard only. Mustard yes. only. Yeah. He's, a, he's a condiment. Genius. What about relish? Are you against relish? Uh, dill, I love. Sweet, you can get rid of it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I'll just say really quick, for hamburgers, I bring out the ketchup, the mayo, mm -hmm. the chipotle sauce, yes. wow. and the mustard. So Altogether. that there's a variety of okay. options, each bite, and you just put it on your plate so you can dip. I agree. On the you like to mix it together. You make your own little sauce while you're variety. eating. Okay. Mm. I agree with this. Mm. It is also spelled with a K, not a C. Both acceptable. Oh, well, says who? Look at Google. Miriam Webster. Okay, I'll look, look at, at the Google machine later. <laughs> All right. Moving on to another conspiracy. Have you heard about this? McDonald's. There's a conspiracy surrounding Mickey D's. The feds have actually opened an investigation into why the McFlurry machines are always broken.
Mm. Theories abound. There's even a map for McBroken McFlurry McSheens. Right. McSheens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, McBroken.com. I guess somebody tracks all of the um, machines all over all over the country and shows you what percentage is out in certain places. I think this is Seattle. Yes, and as our executive producer said, we don't have to throw shade at the 4th <laughs> Avenue because they're doing all right, but something's going on down in Renton. Uh-oh. Oh. The truth oh, is out there. Look so that, that means those McFlurry machines are out. So what did we learn about this, though? That it is actually the Federal Trade Commission is looking into it, and I thought, why? And Susie dug a little deeper, and well, you found. I, I guess there's something with the machines, and the, the franchisees have to use the um, McFlurry the machine. McFlurry machines, and they can't fix it themselves. So if it's broken, they have to go after. They have to go to this one person, or this one group, and so the FTC is looking into that. But I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't even think about it until they started talking about it and the funny memes. But oh, yeah. they are always broken. Yeah. I, you know, I gotta be honest. I don't know that I've, I've ever, ever had a McFlurry. Oh wow. wow! I like a Frosty from Wendy's. Uh, same. Hmm. Yes. I love a Wendy's, especially when you dip your French fries in that Frosty. Mmm. <laughs> Who's with me? Well, Anyone no, French fries in the Frosty? I've done that before, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the thing ever. I don't understand. Do Why like not? The frosty. <laughs> I love how sweet she was about that, but I'm not ever. I'm not ever doing that again. It's the salty and the sweet. Have you ever dipped a fry in a Frosty? Yeah. No? no. Yeah, you put, put cats ketchup. up on things. Yes. Whatever. Jeez Louise. Cats up. All right, well, if that conspiracy did not leave you reeling, I have something that's going to blow your all's mind right now. Ready for this? So the friendly but grouchy purple mascot at McDonald's Grimace, do you know what he is? Do you, know, you I, already know what I he didn't. is. You guys know what he is. Honestly, had no You had idea. no idea. Mm. No idea. Y'all, he's a taste bud. Yes, apparently a giant, enormous taste bud. Why? That's now kind of <laughs> creeping me out. I'm a giant taste bud. <laughs> what? That's, uh, have I left you speechless now? I don't know what to make of this. I mean, it's, I've always, it was a big purple blob. I, yeah. And I was okay with that. I didn't need to know that. I, yeah, I was okay with not knowing what the big purple thing was. Looked past him. I looked at um, Burglar. I'm saying that wrong. And Hamburglar? Then, uh, yeah, yeah, Hamburglar. Yeah. yeah, I looked at him. And then obviously, you know, the, the main characters, he just was kind of an afterthought. <laughs> I feel like Mayor McCheese has really been dishonest. <laughs> mayor wow. McCheese? Yeah, like the mayor of McDonald's. Isn't yes. Mayor McCheese? I, I don't know. Like but you should have told us this a long time ago. I feel, I do feel a little bit like kind of, ugh. A giant taste. I'm just, it's just like, mm -hmm. and you know, and Joseph, again, executive producer in my ear, said it looks like a McNugget before it's fried. Ew. Oh, that's made it worse. <laughs> you know, <laughs> see what you did there? A former McDonald's employee. I'm going to say no on that. Oh, you are? A f yeah. Wow. So what's wow. the inside? What's the skinny with the McFlurry machines, lady? I, I didn't even it's know. It's you. You're the hamburger. <laughs> I knew it. It was all about the nuggets to me, so I'm not taking any shade on those delicious <laughs> nuggets. <laughs> My kids love the nuggets, too. I will say this, hands down, McDonald's, they do have the best Happy Meal toys. Yeah. yeah. They do. Oh, yeah. I know Taco nice. Time tries, but they try to be, like, kind of cool. And, yeah. And I like it. I like what Taco Time brings up, but like McDonald's, my kids love it. And the straws at McDonald's. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. The straws? Yeah. The red and the yellow stripes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I and the yeah. fresh fries. When they're fresh the out of the mm -hmm. Although my friend Joni, the other day we went, we were in a hurry, and she swears that they've shrunk the patty by like 4% because the bun to patty ratio was slightly different than mm. she's remembered all those oh. years. So <gasps> that's another warned. investigation. Yeah. <laughs> be warned. Another investigation continues in new days there to track it. <laughs> Thank you, my friends, for being with us. This has been amazing. Come again, please. Sure. We'll have all the cats up you need. <laughs>